got to do a shout out. I need to do it. Um, the person who got me into moto blogging, who I saw first, um, the fir basically the first guy that I ever saw moto blog was Jogo101. I'm going to put a link to all of his videos in the description and I'll give him a shout out in the title. Reason I'm giving him a shout out because he was the first moto blogger I ever saw, number one. And number two, he's funny as can be. If you want to get into moto blogging, you can obviously check out my channel, but truly his channel has a ton of followers, ton of people on it. And I would suggest that you go look at his. Um, he does a great job with his moto blogging. And he has a ton of fun with it. Other thing I want to give a shout out to, you can look at this. So this right here is all the different people I'm talking to right now in this Moto Amino app. Moto Amino is a pretty awesome app simply because it allows you the ability to connect with guys like us and girls like well, girls who ride. It allows us to connect with each other. It's called Moto Amino. It's in the iOS store and the Android store. I'll put links to those in the description as well. If you download it, you can talk to people. If you want to get into riding, you can get into riding. Uh, last thing I want to say before we go riding is always ride safe. So actually, it's not the last thing, but always ride safe. And the other last thing I want to say is today what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to do a voiceover since I still don't have a mic. But I'm going to do a voiceover so that way you guys can hear me better. And you'll be able to hear about the topic once we do the voiceover. So I'm going to kind of shut up right now. Or at least try to shut up. I can't. I'm never able to really shut up. But let's go. Okay guys, so for today's video, here's what we're going to cover. And just like talk about for a little bit. Now, I've only been riding for about a year. So... Basically, what I want to talk about, first of all, is I need to get a mic. Um, I found a lot on eBay. I found a lot just searching around on Google. Best case scenario, and again, this is what I found from Moto Amino, is that the best ones, or not the best ones, but the cheapest ones that you can find are on eBay. You can get one of the simple lapel mics that can hook up underneath your chin strap or wherever you'd like it to hook up wherever there's not going to be wind noise and the best part about those is that you can basically have it clip it in and make sure it's right by your face and your mouth so that way it gets crystal clear audio it's not getting that much wind noise if it does it just getting the ventilation through the helmet one big issue with those is that you will need an adapter I found lapel mics for about a dollar on eBay and three dollars for shipping and handling. I do not know, or not three dollars for shipping and handling, three dollars for the adapter plus shipping and handling. I do not know how good they are. Again, I've only heard on Mono Amino that people have used them and that they have worked. I don't know if they'll last you long, I don't know if they'll be good for a long period of time and be crystal clear quality. I don't know. Personally, I would get a much better mic, but it does cost more. Is it worth it? I'm not quite sure. I'll test it out and see and get back to you guys once I get one or both, depending on what I end up doing. Ride safe, drive safe, know who's around you, don't text and drive. Dude, never text and ride. I don't even know how you would do that. Because, I mean, come on, seriously, pay attention when you're riding, pay attention when you're driving. It's simple, it's not hard to do, enjoy it. So today, we're just going to ride around the city of Rochester, going to have a little bit of fun. I get a lot of questions and I've talked to a lot of people about having someone ride with you. If you have a girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever. By with you, I mean ride on a separate bike next to you and basically like have a little convoy personally I think that's the best way to go 
Now, my fiance right now does not have her own bike. She does want to learn how to ride eventually, and I will not let her ride on the back of my bike until she learns how to ride. Also, I made a promise to her father that I wouldn't let her ride the motorcycle. So there's that as well. Personally, I've never ridden with someone on the back. I don't think it's the best way to ride together. And that's what I mean when I say ride on. If someone rides on your bike with you, it is, it's not dangerous, but if you don't know what you're doing and you've never done it before, don't go out and think you're gonna just do the same thing you did. Trust me, it's, it's a stupid decision. It's not gonna be fun for you. It's not gonna be fun for the other person and certainly won't be fun for people around you because you've never ridden with someone on and if you don't know how to do it, how would they know how to do it? So basically what I'm saying is make sure that you know what you're doing. Do not ride with someone on without being taught or told how to do it properly. You will only risk your own life and the person who is your passenger. Now with that being said, I personally think that Pretty much anyone who wants to learn how to ride a bike can ride a bike. It's that simple. Is it easy to learn? Of course not. Not easy at all. I've been through a lot of um, learning experiences. Oh look, hey, it's the awesome um, science museum. I used to love going there as a kid. So much fun to do. Now, biggest thing is that you have to know what you're doing when you're riding before you try to teach someone else. Do not try to teach someone else just because you think, oh, I went through the class, oh, my buddy taught me, oh, this, this, and this. Don't sit there and say, oh, I can teach someone how to do it, I know what I'm doing, because clearly my buddy taught me and he knows everything he's doing and I've been riding for a year, so I understand. No, I've been riding for a year, would not teach someone, teach someone. I can teach them the basics, like where the clutch is, where the throttle is, where the brakes are, and all that. But I'd be able to teach the balance and look at the idiot who thinks they know it all. First of all, when you think you know it all, you probably know nothing. Second of all, biggest thing about all of this When it comes to riding a bike, it takes years of practice, same when it comes to driving a car. Will this guy just turn already? Jesus. Okay. This is East End. I love going down here. Bunch of bars. Cam's Pizza right there. Wall Street's a great bar. Again, I'll give shoutouts to anyone. I don't really care. Um, They're fixing this up, so this right here is a pain big drop and then you got rock and all this other stuff you got to deal with and you got a stop sign on this side and you got to wait and then you got to try to do this on a bike is not as easy as doing it on a car i'll be honest you're doing a hill start and it's not that fun but anyways let let's just keep going with what we were talking about so don't think just because you know how to ride that you can go teach someone else how to ride It is not simple to learn. It is not simple to teach. Now, as some of you know, I am a teacher. I am a teacher of third grade right now, but it took me years of college, years of student teaching, years of practice. Um, This is my, the first school year that I'm truly starting as a full-time teacher. Last year I did a half-time full-time, a half year of a full-time teacher position. I started halfway through the year. Before that I've been subbing for about a year or so. So I get what it is to be a teacher. Even with a year of experience under my belt of riding a bike, I would not, not suggest that anyone who has not had five years of riding a bike Go and teach someone. It's that simple. Now, kind of getting off topic, not really what I plan on talking about for this, but hey, it goes along with being stupid, 
and not to be stupid and also to make sure you understand that you need to know oh, that guy's going way too fast I'm not going to try to make the turn I don't know if you guys can see it but this road is horrendous it's I mean this is why they're redoing um, that stretch of East Ave but it's not it's not really East Ave it's where the old inner loop used to be the part of it that they demolished and filled in and now they're redoing all those roads and whatnot. So, to our right's the YMCA. To our left is the theater. Great theater, by the way. So, anyways, we're now at the end of East Ave. Kind of did a little loop around Java's where I'm going to go grab coffee in a second. So, here's the biggest thing. When it comes to learning how to ride, get lessons from someone who knows how to give them, number one, two, knows the right advice, and three, just don't be an idiot, go take a class, go, like, in Rochester we have a class that's 16 hours, it's a quick two days that you go take it, and by the end of it you have your license. Now, is it an easy class? Not quite sure, I still need to take it. Um, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay, I gotta wait for these kids to cross. I'm not gonna try to barrel through them. If you have the time to take the class and the money to go do that before you get your license or even do it after you get your license, first of all, I believe it knocks off some of your insurance money. Boom, you're good. You got some money knocked off your insurance. This is job. This is where I'm gonna go get a coffee real quick and then we'll come back and keep riding until it's pretty much too dark to ride. Okay, so basically we're back. Just got a quick coffee. Great coffee here. Um, basically what it boils down to is... I don't want to do voiceover. It's no fun for me. It means I got to come back after going on an awesome ride and then doing all this for you guys. And I don't mind doing this for you guys, but I'd rather talk while I'm riding. It's much more fluid. It's much more fun to talk while I'm riding. Um, so basically, I need a bike. Hopefully, I'll be able to get one for under ten dollars, um, and then see if I can get a buddy to lend me one of their good ones. I know a friend who has a good one, and see what he might be able to do for me. But other than that, basically, well, first of all, if he does lend me the good one and I have, like, just the average one, I will do a video comparing the two, and you'll be able to hear the audio difference. I'm not going to edit that audio at all. I'll do a five minute of each or whatnot. I promise you guys I will not edit that audio. I'll make sure to talk about the wind noise from each mic, about what I think the sound is doing, how good it is, what it's like to have each mic um in my helmet and just talk about the comfortability of it and whatnot now as always make sure you ride safe like this video subscribe to the channel if you liked it and have not subscribed already comment down below the th comment for this video i would like you guys just to comment about what's one thing that you wish someone would have told you when you first started riding like that one thing that um, you learned later on that you didn't know when you were first riding. I'm going to talk about what I learned um, in the next video. And I'll add in some of the comments that I see too if I get any. If not, no big deal. We'll just go on and talk about what I'm getting from Moto Amino. See you later guys. As always, ride safe. Like, comment, and share this video on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want to. So I'm going to share it on Mono Amino if you want to follow me. It's the same as what it is on YouTube. Just rev it up underscore 92 and have a great time riding and ride safe